Hi guys, welcome back to Paydeath Gaming. This is PTG, and uh, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today. So today uh, we are going to do um, our uh, minimal setup in uh, defeating our Void Lord boss here in the sector. And I want to show you the Void boss. Uh, this is sector five. This is sector four. So we are going to test my lineup out in sector five. All right. So I'm going to show you my lineup. Alright, so my lineup is gonna compose of an Itakwa. Where is Itakwa here? Alright, this Itakwa has a full assassin suit with antler skin and uh, skill damage attack attack stone. And she's running um, a full red with uh, a control purify. This is uh, from for the um, stun of the enemy. Alright, so we will use a Drake uh, for us to. Uh, lower down the, the uh, defense of the enemy and the drake is going to be built uh, tanky let me see if i can switch something here all right let me see I, I think we can switch this to another set just for our drake to be tanky so that he will live all right so we'll, we will use drake and drake is going to have an hp build all right we're going to make our drake tanky so that he will survive Right, next is right. Next is uh, an Ignis. This Ignis is built to die. So we'll use speed enables just to lower down his stats. And uh, we're going to even use lethal fight back here. Uh, this Ignis is going to be paired with the Itakwa to die. Then we will use another uh, Ignis. Uh, I regressed my Ignis from E5 to just 10 star. And I won't be leveling her up. So she is built also to die. Giving uh, control Im immunity to Olivia here. Olivia is built tanky and uh, she has the 2-2 split just for uh, more HP then now uh, we will use Rogan and Rogan is also built tanky and uh, Rogan is just 10 star alright this is my sort of uh, minimal team for uh, clearing or battling the, the Void Lord in Sector 5 so we will see how much damage we will do with the Void Lord in Sector 5 Alright, so we are going to use the Ignis in the front line, then the Itakwa. Ignis is going to die, giving energy and control immunity to Itakwa. Then we are going to put Drake, and then Rogan. Or we can... Alright, that's correct. Then we can put Olivia and then the Ignis there. And we will use Phoenix. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Alright. So Itakwa, dealing damage. Alright. My team is tanky. Uh, Olivia must shrink the enemy. Alright, Olivia, shrink. Alright, we got the shrink. Alright, go with Aqua. Alright, we should uh, have more damage here. And the Ignis must die to give us control immunity. Kill the Ignis. Alright, the Olivia did her job. Alright, it's Aqua. Alright, uh, round 4. Takwa is dead round 4. This is bad. Let's see how much damage we make. Maybe I should have used the, uh, the deer pet. Alright, so how much damage do we make? Alright, so you see, it's 1.8 billion. Let me see if we use the deer pet. Alright, this is a good amount of damage to the Void Lord. So, with this kind of minimal setup. So, 79, we need... We did around 13% damage. How about if we use the deer pet? Alright, let's see what happens here. It's 1.8 billion. How about this one? Takwa. I'm using a deer pet because it gives armor. And our Takwa might live another round if she's tanky. Shrink! Her eyes! Oh! Takwa. My Takwa. Feel my Takwa. Alright. So drag. Defense down. Takwa heal back. Alright. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Shrink, my boy. Shrink. Alright. I think we did more damage here. So we will do more damage here. Because uh, Olivia got to shrink the enemy twice. Alright. My Takwa is uh, gonna live at round 6. So the deer pet is actually better. Let me see the damage numbers. Alright, so we died at round 6. Let's see the damage numbers. Alright, actually the Phoenix pet was better. Uh, we did 1.6 uh, billion damage. 
still, that's a good amount of damage to the Void Lord with just a minimal setup. Alright, so that's our um, run for doing damage to the Devastator Warlord. This is a kind of a minimal setup. Um, I just used the Rogan 10 star, Ignis 10 star, and then uh, an Elevia 10 star. And the other Ignis at E5, uh, you could uh, go away uh, with another 10 star Ignis. Uh, just an E5, uh, oh, what you call that? E5 Drake and E5 Itaqua. Uh, you could do a lot of damage to the Devastator Warlord. So this is my uh, minimal team setup that uh, I am using to do uh, maximum damage to the Devastator Warlord without using any uh, um, uh, what you call that Transcendence Hero. So if you do like uh, the videos that I make, please consider subscribing and uh, you can comment down in the comment section what it is that you like about this video and what uh, you also don't like so that I can improve the way I make my videos. Thank you again for watching and thank you for hanging out with me today. This is Paydeath Gaming signing out. Yeah.